from Hollywood, it's the family game. Now, let's meet our family for today. Family number one are the Weldons. They have a dog who tries to climb trees and catch money. Family number two are the Hearts. Hardly a meal goes by that Stacy doesn't find something to spill. Family number three are the Getzes. The last time Dad was on television, he won the jackpot, and the show went off the air the following week. Those are our families for today. And now, here is our host, the star of the family game, Bob Barker. Thank you very much, and welcome to the family game. We'll be right back to try and find out just how well parents and their children really know each other, right after this message. Uninhibited as a basket full of berries. Peaches gold. Make us sweet. Desserts with the extravagant taste of good natural food. Splurge desserts. Today you get them from Royal. Natural food flavor in every one. Like Royal Pudding for the taste of deep dark chocolate. Just open coconut. Rich ripe banana. Even vanilla is very vanilla. Royal Pudding. Gelatin, no bake pies, and cheesecake. The Splurge Desserts from Royal. I'll make a sweet for thee. All right, kids, here we go with the family game. Now, as you know, your parents are off stage and cannot hear your answers. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to answer these questions as honestly as you can. When your parents return, your mothers will try to guess what you've said. And every time they guess correctly, your family will be awarded ten points. Now, the family with the most points at the end of the show today will win our very special grand prize. Now, Drew, in that handsome plaid jacket, I am going to begin with you. What is one thing your father drinks that you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole? Beer. Beer. <laughs> All right, Drew. Stacy, what does your father drink that you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole? Hot sauce. He, <laughs> he drinks hot sauce? You mean he actually puts hot sauce in a glass and drinks it? Why does he do that, do you suppose? I don't know. Does he do it often? Sometimes. I'm anxious to meet your father, Stacy. <laughs> Nina, how about it? What does your father drink that you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole? I would say the same thing as him, beer. Beer. <laughs> All right, Nina. Now, question number two is, what color hair would your father like your mother to have, Stacy? Brown, like he always has. Has her hair always been brown? Mm -hmm. All right, and Nina, what color hair would your father like uh, your mother to have? Black. Has her hair always been black? Is it black? Yes. Has it always been black? Yes. Uh-huh. Drew, how about it? What color? Black. What? Blonde. You don't have to lean so far into the microphone, Drew. We'll be able to hear Blonde. it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is your mother's hair blonde, uh, Drew? Yes. Has it always been blonde? Yes. Uh-huh. All right, question number three. When it comes to kissing, does your mother wish your father would kiss her more or kiss her less? Nina? Kiss her more. Why do you say that? Because they always kiss in front of me. <laughs> do they kiss in front of you? Uh -huh, but you think your mother would like to have him kiss her even more, huh? Yeah. All right. How about you, Drew? Do you think your mother would like to have your father kiss her more or kiss her less? Is there less? <laughs> Why do you say less, Drew? They always. What? They always. They what? They always. They always? They always kiss? Well, doesn't it seem to make your mother happy? Yeah. It doesn't? <laughs> 
Maybe it's not that he wants, she'd like to have him kiss her less. Maybe she'd just like to have him change his style. <laughs> Stacy, when it comes to kissing, does your mother wish your father would kiss her more or kiss her less? More. And why do you say more, Stacy? Because every time he kisses her less, um, she, she doesn't let her, him kiss her for two days. <laughs> has, that, <laughs> have, uh, have there been times that your mother's refused to let your father kiss her for two days? Yes. What would your father say about that? He said, come on. <laughs> And after two days of waiting, she finally did, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Has, it's never gone on longer than two days. Mm -hmm. Two days limit. All right. Question number four is, what does your father do at night for exercise, Drew? They got the ball. He plays ball? All right. Stacy? After Jenny, he exercises. All right. And what does he do? He touches his foot. He does? <laughs> he stands up straight and bends over and touches his foot? Uh -huh. how, have you ever counted it? Uh, how many times he can do it? Mm -hmm. How many times can he touch his foot? Ten times. Very good. Nina, what does your father do at night for exercise? What he ate. <laughs> Does he stay in pretty good shape that way? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, children. We'll be right back with the parents to find out how well the mothers can guess what their children have said after this important message. Ready for coffee? Love some. Take the edge off black coffee with Coffee Mate, the one non-dairy creamer that's so smooth and mellow. It rounds out the flavor in a cup of coffee. Yet, with only 11 calories and a level teaspoon, it won't round you out. Try it. Coffee made from Carnation. It rounds out the flavor in a cup of coffee. He's growing up on the milk that's all muscle. And no fat. Carnation Instant Milk. Mix Carnation Instant in ice water. Then, the more you add, the more muscle in the milk. More calcium. Protein. B vitamins. More than regular milk. With no fat. Have the milk that's all muscle. And no fat. Carnation Instant Non-Fat Milk. All right, families, we've recorded the children's answers on cards. They now have those cards on their laps. Remember, only the mothers will have a chance to match answers this round. And each time they do, the family will be awarded 10 points. The family with the most points at the end of the game will win today's grand prize. Now, Mrs. Getz, I shall begin with you. The first question was, what is one thing your father drinks that you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole? What was Nina's answer? Martini. Martini? Mm -hmm. Nina said, just the top card, Nina. Beer. Beer. Oh. That, what? Drink beer. You don't drink beer? <laughs> Stacy's answer was what, Mrs. Hart? Uh, whiskey? Whiskey? She said hot sauce. Oh. Now, do you actually drink I hot sauce? Hot. Oh. Do you drink? I never, I never do. You never do. <laughs> Nina and Stacy have been watching somebody, but not Father. <laughs> All right. Mrs. Welton, what did Drew tell us? Oh, dear. Um, martinis, I have to say. Because uh, Drew doesn't like olives at all. <laughs> and Drew, just hold up your top card. Beer was his answer. Now, the second question was, what color would your father like, uh, what color hair would your father like your mother to have? And Mrs. Hart, what do you believe Stacy said to that one? Blonde. And Stacy said, brown. Oh. Brown. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to do something about that. <laughs> Mrs. Welton, what did Drew say? I think Drew would say blonde hair, because I do have here. And Drew said, blonde, and you have the first <laughs> 10 points of the game. <laughs> Mrs. Getz, what did Nina tell us? Dark brown. And Nina said, black. 
was her answer. I beg your pardon? She's colorblind. She's colorblind? There's the optometrist for you. Question number three was, when it comes to kissing, does your mother wish your father would kiss her less or kiss her more? And Mrs. Welton, what did Drew say to that one? Oh, dear. I think Drew would probably say, kiss me less. And Drew said, kiss her less. You're right again. <laughs> Mrs. Guest, tell me what Nina's answer was. Oh, I'd say more because uh, Nina likes kissing. All right. Kiss her more is right. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Hart. I hope she'd say more. Kiss her more, right. <laughs> you say that like a lady who wants more kissing, Mrs. Hart. The fourth question was, what does your father do at night for exercise? And Mrs. Guess, what was Nina's answer? Swim. Swim? She said, watches television. <laughs> and Mrs. Hart? Oh, she might have said, mow the lawn? And she said, he touches his foot. <laughs> and do you, Mr. Hart, bend over and touch your foot? I probably do unconsciously. <laughs> Mrs. Welton, what was Drew's answer? I think uh, Drew would probably say that uh, he takes our, our colleague around uh, for about a mile walk every night for his exercise. And Drew said he picks up a ball. And the Weltons lead with 20 points at this stage. We'll be right back for the older kids to ask them questions about family life right after this message. Look, there's a wax skipper. She skips waxing floors with new Prolong. Use normally prolongs the waterproof floor wax with a waterproof shine. Prolong blends a tough wax, a protective plastic, and a high shine glaze. All resist water, even water with detergents, for weeks and weeks. There's another one. Be a wax skipper. Try new Prolong, the waterproof floor wax for weeks of waterproof shine. Treating a kid's cold discomfort used to mean... Come on now, honey, hold still. Please hold still. Or... Let me rub this in. And... Take your aspirin. Now, there's the combined relief of Congesperin cold tablets. Congesperin combines children's aspirin plus a decongestant for stuffy, runny nose. Helps even three-year-olds sleep better. Chewable orange-flavored Congesperin, like a medicine chest in a tablet. This makes a stain. And this makes a stain. And this. And this. And this is a Scotch Guard testing kit. It goes shopping with you for a new school dress. And when you wonder if a pretty little wall will survive the stain makers, it comes in very handy. Fabrics treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protectors survive almost anything. Grips and dribbles just beat up and sit on the surface, waiting to be wiped or blotted away. When you shop for furniture, fabrics, or wearing apparel, take along a Scotchgard testing kit. And uh, if you don't see this tag, put it to work. And now for that very pleasant interlude, which gives Roy Rowan a chance to tell us about some special gifts for today's family game guest. Take it away, Mr. Rowan. My pleasure, Mr. Barker. And today's runner-up families will always be ready for company with this West Bend 30-cup automatic party percolator and satin finish stainless steel. Makes up to 30 cups of perfect coffee automatically. And here's something today's runner-up families will be enjoying together for many years to come. The 1967 edition World Book Encyclopedia Two-Volume Dictionary containing 2,300 pages, 190,000 entries, and more than 2,000 exciting illustrations. And each of the children on today's show will choose a selection of toys from the Ideal Toy Corporation, makers of laugh-filled games like the Snakes Alive game and the Captain Action doll, plus many other toys and dolls. They are wonderful toys. They're ideal. And now back to the family game and Bob Barker. Thank you, Roy. Chris, we know that your father works as a salesman. What do you think he likes best about his job? Well, I think it's because...
tries to um gets to work around his friends. Uh, you mean work with his friends? Uh -huh. I see. And you think his friends make his job attractive to him? Yes. All right. Now, Charles, your father is a policeman. In your opinion, what does he like best about his job? Well, I guess catching the bad men and bringing them into jail and getting his reward. <laughs> Has he ever told you about some of his adventures catching bad men? Yes, he has. Has he? And has mm -hmm. he told you about his reward? Not quite. What do you suppose, just in your opinion, what do you think is the biggest reward he ever got? Would you believe one million dollars? <laughs> I'd believe it, and I want to know how I can become a policeman. <laughs> All right, Dana. What do you think your father likes best about being an optometrist? I think he likes uh, joking his secretary. <laughs> <laughs> you think he'd be happy doing anything for a living if he could have that same secretary? No, he just likes to goof around. He does? <laughs> Has he ever told you about goofing around? Well, I've seen him. Oh? What have you seen him do when he's goofing around with the secretary, Dana? Well, he tells a joke. Uh-huh. And just tells the same thing. I see. All right, here's question number two. Which television program most reminds you of your family at the dinner table? Everybody's Talking or Animal Kingdom? Charles? Everybody's Talking. Why do you say that? Well, my dad and mom and... Of course, me and everyone says, pass the ketchup, pass the mustard, pass this, pass that. <laughs> and everybody's talking. Dana, everybody's talking or Animal Kingdom for your family? Everybody's talking because my mother and father always say, are, always say eat. <laughs> and stop talking and eat. Huh? Chris, which one do you choose? What was it again? Animal Kingdom. Or everybody's talking. Which most reminds you of your family at the dinner table? Um, talking. Everybody's talking. All right, question number three. When your father sees a pretty girl, what is the first thing he notices about her, Chris? Her figure. Her figure? Did he tell you that? No. Well, why do you answer that way, uh, then? Why do you say that? Because he always, because um, once when we were driving, um, he, um, this girl came out in the bikini and said, turn back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. And uh, how about it, uh, Charles, uh, when... Uh, your father sees a pretty girl. What's the first thing he notices about her? Well, he shows me, and I show him the picture, and then he says, <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you think is the first thing he's noticed, you know? Looks like Linda. No, but when he sees a pretty girl, what about that girl is the first thing he notices? Well, he might notice the dress she's wearing. The dress she's wearing. And uh, Dina? Dana. Dana, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, question number four. <laughs> I'll, I'll be happy to wait for you, audience. I was going right on, and then you joined us down here. <laughs> Question number four. Which do you think your father would rather have, more money or more hair, Chris? More money. You'd rather have more money? Why do you say that? Well, because we just built the ha house, and we, and we don't have any furniture, and we haven't paid the taxes yet. Okay. And Charles, more money or more hair for your father? I say more money because 
My dad, we're looking for one car, and my dad may buy one. I see. And Dana? I'll never call you Dina again, I'll tell you that. Uh, I learned very quickly. Uh, Dana, which do you think your father would rather have, more money or more hair? Because he just bought a new house. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with the parents to find out how well the fathers can guess what their kids have said right after this message. My Harvey, he's a meat and potatoes man mostly. But you should see how he goes for Chung King Chow Mein. Our favorite's chicken, and there's plenty of it in a beautifully seasoned gravy. Chung King cooks the oriental vegetables separately so they're crisp and delicious. Add some Chung King fried rice and egg rolls, and you got a take-home three dinner from Chung King. Nice for meat and potatoes, man. Chicken. Oh, baby, has Chung King chicken chow mein got chicken. And now we've added even more. More chicken than ever before. Oh, we still quick cook the crunchy water chestnuts and bamboo shoots. And the bean sprouts and celery, fresh from our own garden. And the chicken. It's in a sparkly sauce in the top of the Chung King divider pack. All right, we have a close game here with the Weltons in the lead. And fathers, it's time for you to guess what your children have said. Now remember, each time your guess matches your child's answer, your family will receive 15 points toward today's grand prize. And Mr. Or Dr. Guess, I shall begin with you, sir. The first question was, what does your father like best about his job? What do you think Dana said? Oh, that I get to kid around with people. That you get to kid around with people? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Dana, hold up your first card. Joking with his secretaries. I'm going to give you that one, because that's what <laughs> he said you do. <laughs> and Mr. Hart, what did Charles tell me that you like most about your job as a policeman? Arresting bad guys. All right, Charles, hold up your first card. Hold it so I can see it, will you please, Charles? Catching the bad man and getting his reward. You are right, sir. <laughs> And I would like to know, sir, I mean, it's none of my business, but what did you do with that million-dollar reward that you got? I'm still looking for it. Still looking for it. Now, Charles assured me that that was your top dollar. <laughs> and Mr. Welton, what did Chris tell us that you like about your job as a salesman? I think Chris said uh, that I got up early so I'd get out of the house so I wouldn't have to have all the confusion uh, uh, when everyone else gets up. And Chris, what did you say? He likes working with his friends. All right, question number two. Which television program most reminds you of your family at the dinner table? Animal Kingdom or Everybody is Talking? And Mr. Hart, what was Charles' answer? Had to be Animal Kingdom. And Charles Had said, Everybody is Talking. <laughs> what did Chris say, Mr. Welton? I would say that uh, Chris said uh, everybody's talking because we have a lot of kids in our house that do a lot of talking. And Chris said, Everybody's Talking. You're right, sir, for 15 points. Dr. Geck? I'd just say Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, and she uh, said? She always uh, says this is like a horse's stable. Well, <laughs> she said everybody's talking. <laughs> yes, now I'm going right on again. The question was, when your father sees a pretty girl, the question was, when, when your father sees a pretty girl, what is the first thing he notices about her? Mr. Welton. Well, I'd say that Chris probably said that I took a good look at her uh, blue eyes because uh, my wife has blue eyes. All right, Chris, what'd you say? Her figure is what he said. <laughs> and Dr. Guess, what did they say? I think I got a... <laughs> That's a terrible question. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm forced to say face. Her face? Right. Her back, God <laughs> damn it, Dad. And Mr. Hart, what did Charles say? Knowing my son's appreciation for beauty, I think he'd say face. Face? Charles said? The dress she's wearing. 
All right, we wind this up with the Weltons leading with 35 points, but we'll be back with our three families for that all-important 25-point bonus question, and we'll find out which family will win today's grand prize right after this brief message. New, from Deep Magic, a one-minute beauty treatment for dry skin. Dot the spots where dryness and wrinkles begin. Then smooth Deep Magic all over. It's non-greasy, absorbs instantly, moisturizes deep down where dryness and wrinkles begin. Deep Magic, under makeup, without makeup. Deep Magic Dry Skin Conditioner. Deep Magic Moisture Cream. Alan, listen to this. I don't hear anything. Of course you don't, and you know why? Because we've run out of right guard. Funny, we never seem to run out of hairspray. Uh, Jerry, stop, stop. Jerry, Jerry, that's right guard. The new economy size right guard. Well, you know, right guard's really made it big. New economy size right guard deodorant. Very big with families, because nothing touches you but the spray itself. New blue economy size Gillette right guard. All right, kids, your bonus answers have been passed out to you, and the entire family has been gathered together for this big moment. Remember, only your fathers may try to guess your answer to the bonus question. Mr. Hart, you have 25 points. Take over the lead right now, if you wish, sir, with the correct answer. The question that I asked Charles was, which do you think your father would rather have, more hair or more money? What did he say? More money. And Charles said, more money, and you're in first place. <laughs> Now, Dr. Guest, you too have 25 points. You can tie this game up if you can tell me whether Dana said more hair or more money. Well, my daughter seems to think I'm very rich, so I'm sure she said my hair. More hair? She said more money. <laughs> more money. Now, Mr. Welton, you have 35 points. You, sir, can win the family game right now. Do you believe that Chris said more hair or more money? I'd say that Chris said uh, more money because we just finished building a new house and we could use some. And Chris said... More money, you're right, and that's it. The Weltons are today's winners. <laughs> Congratulations on being today's winning family. Now, we have for you as your special grand prize, your very own 14-foot ski boat and motor. Oh. Yes, a line boat. Yes. A sleek design constructed of fiberglass featuring lounge seats and both windshield and tiller steering. Complete family fun of the water from Silverline Boat, Moorhead, Minnesota. And to power your Silverline Boat, an Evinrude outboard motor, the 33 horsepower Ski Twin, a high torque design featuring simplex manual starting, push button shut off, and full gear shift from Evinrude Motors, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Boat motor and atlas boat trailer featuring a quick tilt bed all for the welton family today's winners on the family game and that's it for now this is bob barker saying goodbye and inviting you to join us tomorrow and we'll be back to play the family game goodbye everybody